So today I will be briefly discussing Cornered, an Edward Dimitrik helmed noir starring Dick Powell. Only a year after Powell portrayed Philip Marlowe in Dimitrik's classic Murder My Sweet, they reunite to tell the tale of a Canadian World War II veteran seeking to find his wife's murderer. His wife was a member of the French Resistance, whom her father claims was killed by a Vichy loyalist, Marcel Jarnac. Jarnac, however, has been presumed dead since 1943. Powell travels to Buenos Aires, Argentina, in order to track down Jarnac's supposed widow. Powell's character, named Gerard, encounters many strange, suspicious characters. Some of these men, namely Walter Slezak's Melchior, seem to know far more about Gerard than they should. Meanwhile, Jarnac's alleged widow denies everything. Some of these men wind up being undercover agents, tracking an organization of Nazi fugitives spearheaded by Marcel Jarnac. Gerard forms a tenuous alliance with these agents. The film was a consistently tense atmosphere, the one-dimensional Gerard is constantly staring down countless two-faced deceptive characters. I may as well get to the point. This is a very firm, solid noir piece. I found it rather well photographed, resulting in several slick, well-defined black and white interiors. Powell makes for an engaging lead through and through. Its conclusion is particularly satisfying, which you may view for yourselves. Well, okay, that being said, Cornered is not really one of the absolute masterworks of the genre, but perhaps something of a minor classic. I might also consider it a minor classic amongst Dimitri's catalogue, which contains several interesting pictures, in my opinion. I certainly would recommend it to any fan of film noir. Frankly, anyone sold on this film based upon my takeaway will probably enjoy it thoroughly. Cornered is rather satisfying, fairly well made, and regularly conjures a potent, troubling mood.